What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and another quick guide. This guide is current through the Barbarian's Wrath update and is still in effect as of March to April of 2018. Now today we're going to be talking about gear score, hero score, champion score, and how it affects progression. Now, as we know, everything in DD2, as far as progression goes, is based off of the Trials or Onslaught. Um, after you finish up the campaign, you can do Trials, Chaos 1 through Chaos 7, or you can jump in and try your luck in Onslaught and push the various floors. Now, I know the question will come up on what is the quickest way to get geared, and is basically a pretty simple explanation. Although you can do a combination of both, which we'll get into here in a moment. Onslaught, going through the Onslaught floors is going to be a smoother overall leveling experience. However, it is going to take you a lot more maps to get to the top gear in the game. You're going to be able to achieve that through the trials much, much quicker. And Chaos 7, of course, being the top trial and offering the best loot once you get to that point. Now, each individual item you see, like this uh, Mana Nex here, has a gear score. As you see the gear there, 5,922. Uh, if we look at, say, the Soul Harvester, it's got a gear score of 6,045. My boots have a gear score of 6,010, and so on throughout. Now, these numbers are going to come up with your champion, or pardon me, your hero score. Your hero score, in the case of my Barbarian here, is 5,855. Now next we go up top, and as we see the little crown over the Barbarian card, telling me that that is my current champion, as it is my best geared, geared hero I have, and it is setting a champion score of 5,855. Now, this champion score is going to directly affect your progression, and it's how you're going to move through the different tiers. Now, let's say I unequipped these gloves. We see now the Barbarian's hero score has dropped to 4,687. My champion score has dropped to 5,584. Now, the reason is, is my next best, best hero right next, 5,584, is my Mystic. Now, if I refresh the interface, then the crown moves over to the Mystic card. And then, of course, just by putting those gloves back on, I can get my champion score back up to 5,800. And the Barbarian is now my champion hero with a hero score of 5,800. Now, this is where it affects you. And don't worry, you don't have to write these numbers down as if a current trials tier is locked for you it's going to show it right where it says locked of what champion score you need to reach now first off you just completed chaos or pardon me you just completed the campaign you're getting ready to move into the trials or onslaught whichever you choose uh, to unlock chaos one trials you're going to need a gear score or pardon me a champion score of 350 to unlock Chaos 2 Trials, you're going to need a champion score of 575. To unlock Chaos 3 Trials, you'll need a camp champion score of 900. Chaos 4 Trials will be 1205. Chaos 5 will be 1740. Chaos 6 will be 2670. And then Chaos 7 will be 3915. So if you get your champion score to 3915, no matter what else you've done, you will automatically be admitted into Trials. Now in Onslaught, as I mentioned, the progression is a little bit slower, however much, much smoother. That's going to have different unlocks through the game. Now these aren't noted anywhere, but on the same note, aren't super important. But if you do decide to progress through the game by mixing Onslaught and Trials, it's good to know various milestones you'll want to get to as it will unlock Chaos Floors for you. Now, first off, if you have a champion score of 350 and win one Chaos 1 map, you'll unlock Floor 3. So if you started in Trials, you've got a couple pieces of gear, your champion score is 350, and you've completed one 
Chaos 1 map, you can go ahead and skip floors 1 and 2 and go right to floor 3. If you've got a champion score of 575 and one, win one Chaos 2 map, you'll immediately jump to floor 4. With a champion score of 900 and winning one Chaos 3 map, you'll unlock floor 7. A champion score of 1205 and winning one Chaos 4 map will unlock floor 10. A champion score of 1740 and winning one Chaos 5 map will unlock floor 16. Champion score of 2,670 and win one Chaos 6 map will unlock floor 37. And a champion score of 3,915 plus winning one Chaos 7 map will unlock floor 55. Now, of course, as far as Onslaught and Ancient Power, the prestige system in the game goes, it all begins at floor 55 as you cannot jump any further into Onslaught from Drew doing the trials besides getting to floor 55. So if you went through and went right through the trials and unlocked the various gear scores required to unlock all of the chaos tiers and got yourself to 3915 and completed one chaos seven map, you can skip all of the trials and jump right to floor 55. Now, of course, floor 65 is the minimum floor that you have to get to to be able to use Ancient Power. So from here on, the game is going to be about Onslaught for you, as the higher you push an Onslaught, the more rewarding it'll be when you reset. However, you will have to do at a minimum of floor 55 through floor 65 in Onslaught. I know this was a little confusing having the three different scores to now keep track of. Uh, if you do have any questions, make sure you let me know in the comments below. And remember that the gear score system replaces the old loot system, meaning you no longer have to have your best gear on your best hero to get better loot. You are naturally gonna just get better loot based off of what has dropped on the map, whether you picked it up or not. Uh, once again, let me know if you have any questions about gear score, uh, champion score, or progression in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get all those questions answered. So thank you once again, click that like button and please subscribe, and I will be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.